Hello, I'm Chef Leanne. I live and work in the fabulous Florida Keys. Today's fresh catch is yellowtail snapper. It was caught by Captain Kevin Johnson with Florida Keys Real Adventures. Yellowtail has no closed season, so you can catch it all year long and we have an abundance of it. It's a very white, fresh fish. Um, I'm gonna be serving that with uh, a fresh mango on top with some coconut rice and some hush puppies. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the yellowtail uh, filet. I'm gonna cut it in half and use half of it and put them in my hush puppies. So this half I'm gonna save for the hush puppy, this one I'll save for the uh, rice. Usually hush puppies don't have fish in it, but I started this on a whim when I was at a client's house and it was such a big hit that from there on out I started using the yellowtail or fresh fish, it doesn't matter. I think the reason was um, I didn't have the ingredients to do a ceviche, so I went ahead and uh, made a hush puppy instead of doing ceviche and it was such a hit from that point on, that's how come I do fish in the hush puppies. Okay, so I chopped up the fish for my hush puppies. I'm gonna go ahead and season the other fillets with a Cajun seasoning. I like using the Cajun seasoning uh, because it gives it a little bit of uh, heat to it because it's got the paprika in there and then as well as the cayenne pepper. And it really, really helps the fish's flavor. It's also great for blackening if you choose to blacken, but this particular uh, recipe is not blackened. Um, I want to leave it just pan seared and then um, top it with the mango. Because the mango is going to give it nice freshness. All right, set that aside. And then we're just going to go right into making the mango. All right. All right, so I've got a Florida mango. They're massive in size compared to the California uh, mangoes. Okay, so this mango is massive in size. And I'm scoring it. And then you flip it up like that. And then just cut it out. Mangoes grow here in the Florida Keys. I think the season starts around July, August when you can start getting fresh mangoes. And we use them for everything. Okay, got that done. And then I've got a fresh avocado here. This is a California avocado. Scoop it out like that. And then give it a quick dice. Right, some red onion. Take these off. Jalapeno. And then I've got some fresh cilantro. Give that a quick dice. And fresh key lime. Putting my hand underneath it to catch the seeds we don't want any seeds in that salsa. And this is gonna be on top of the yellow tail when I finish it. And it'll give it a nice freshness. A little bit of salt. There you go. And salsa is done. set that aside and then now we're gonna make the hush puppies get them get them I'm gonna slide right get the net Jay get the net 
Stay tight, stay tight. No, no slack, no, no slack, slack, no, no slack. slack. Keep it bending that rod. Yes, sir. Great job. Great job. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Pink. Mutton, yeah. mutton. So mutton? Yeah. Got him to your left. Watch the motor. Good job. Nice one. Nice mine. Good job. Watch your motor. Great job. Nice mine. Yeah, boy. There we go. Give me some of that. There we go. That's awesome. That's an awesome. That's look. a sick first mine right there. My guy. That's what we came here for, boys. Beautiful. Great eating. Oh, yeah. Here, JC, hop in there. I'm going to get a picture of you guys. So, Tucker told us he was holding out, he was holding out on us all morning. And Said he had a secret spot, and what do you know? Second ballyhoo out, and here he is, nice, beautiful reef mutton. You can't can't beat a beautiful fish like that. You know, awesome. Got another bait out there. Let's see if we can't get another one. Good job. Mutton snapper are the king of the Florida Keys snapper fishery. They're hard fighting and great tasting. Mutton snapper can be caught on the reef or in the deep water. Another motor. Another motor. I like that. Another motor, brother. Another motor. Boy's about to be eating goo. Yeah. Yeah. So right now these muttons are spawning. Boom. So there's going to be a lot of muttons. So that's pretty cool, you know? Good job, Bobby. Multongue's not available. Yeah. Lift up smoothly, reel down. Biting, biting, biting. You're on tongue's boat. Yeah, here, Tug. Yeah, yeah, open the bill. You're good. Hey, kid, I. Nice, Martin. That was great. Yeah, measuring Martin. Hey, kid, this is a good fight. Just three Martins in the box, boys. Open the bail when that happens, dog. Open the bail and let him go further in the hole? No. <laughs> what? So he might finesse it out, but God damn it, dude. All right, we're going to sit here until we get that back. That was a big one. That was a 12 pound mine right there. Or the grouper. Yeah? Are you going to go to a grouper? I don't know. Three minutes. you off in the rock. Right in the rock. I felt him. He was running in there and I was pulling him. I was getting him out and he'd go right back. Real, real, buddy. Real, real, real. There you go. You got there him, buddy. You go. Now you got him. You got him. Easy down, and then reel up. Reel, reel up. Good job, buddy. Great job. Wait, wait. Just keep him right here. Keep him right there. Now, now, now go down. Hey. Hey, Dad. We'll bring him up here. Come up here. All right, so yeah, we came to this certain spot for mutton snappers, and it was successful. We got four mutton snappers, you know, good eaters for these guys, too. They're going to eat very good. And uh, now, so we're going to pull the anchor up, go to this other spot, and try for some permit. Some good fighting fish, and I know these guys will love it. So let's give it a shot, and it should be good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my hush puppies. I'm going to start with dry ingredients. I've got a cup of flour, a three-fourths of a cup of cornmeal, salt, garlic powder, paprika, and baking powder. I'm going to add an egg and milk. Did 
This is one cup of milk. I've got my oil, canola oil in the pan and it's heating up. I want it to get to about 325, 350 degrees because these will cook fast. And while I'm waiting for that oil to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and start my coconut rice. So the coconut rice, I'm gonna do in a cast iron skillet. Get that nice and hot. The rice is pre-cooked. It is a jasmine rice. Nothing in it. Put that in the pan. And I'm gonna add the coconut milk to it. Let that heat up and I'm hoping to get a nice crust on the bottom. And as soon as that oil gets to 350, we'll go ahead and start doing the hush puppies. I've got my temperature at 325. Make sure it maintains at that temperature. Drop a little bit of this in there. Hush puppies are different than fritters. Fritters are fluffy, hush puppies are dense. I have no idea why they call them hush puppies. I'm sure there's history behind that, but I'm not aware of it. And they fry really quick. So yellowtail snapper, mostly caught in the Gulf of Mexico um, because they like warm fit, warm water. We have red, we have all the other snappers, but yellowtail is the one that you can mostly get here in the Florida Keys. And you can tell it's yellow because it literally has a yellow stripe from head to tail. It's got spots all over it that are yellow and the tail is yellow, so there's no mistaking when you catch a yellowtail snapper. They travel in schools, so usually when you do get them on the line, you can catch a whole bunch of them. There are limits to catch. I believe it's uh, 10 per person. And we can go ahead and get our snapper cooking. All right. This series is brought to you by Two Conk Sport Fishing. With a fleet of yellow fins ranging from 17 to 39 feet, Two Conks has you covered on the flats, in the gulf, and offshore. Book your fishing trip of a lifetime today. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pan sear this yellowtail. I've got some uh, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and we'll get these puppies searing. All right, and while we're waiting on that to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick tartar so sauce for our hush puppies. So I have mayonnaise. Got a little bit of ketchup. Some uh, fresh uh, relish and some lime juice. If you want a little bit of heat, you can add some hot sauce to it. Sriracha, Calabrian chilies. So there is the tartar sauce. Get rid of this. And your hush puppy, let me break it open for you. So you get the nice chunks of fish in the center of your hush puppy. Dunk it in here. There you go. Yes. That's good. Finish this. All right, we can go ahead and get this plated. 
coconut rice. Okay. Yellow tail snapper. Add a little bit of mango salsa on the top of that. Garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. There you go. Yellow tail snapper pan seared over coconut rice and a mango salsa. And then we have hush puppies with some of the snapper in it over a tartar sauce. If you'd like to see more of me, you can go on to my Facebook or Instagram account, Clouds in My Coffee Catering, or you can go to the YouTube, Chef Leanne in the Florida Keys. Or if you're on vacation here, I'm at Mile Marker 50 in Marathon at the table. Stop by.